All right, pull up your stock and ready to rock and roll. Off. See, now I can actually hit it right. Take it off. Go flight mode. Come on, just go flight mode. Just fly. Just fly, you son of a thing. Electro blast, electro mine, I mean. Yeah, electro mine. There we go. Oh! He's barely not charged enough. There we go. Going down to the ground. Now I definitely pressed X on that one. Okay, so even when it's shaking off, I can still hit it a bit. I guess actually shooting in its mouth also works. Good to know. Yeah, shooting in its mouth damages us. Ooh, that was a close one. Ooh, got you right there. Now, come and charge me. What? I. Okay, the, the hitting seems very inconsistent. Yeah, I'm definitely able to damage it by shooting its mouth. But I do like that. Again, like, they give you a lot of different options to start fading to fight Metroid. Ooh, just barely escaped that one with that blast. No. Got it. Now, I'm in charge of me. Why can I not hit it? I'm not able to, because I'm using melee counter, but, I mean, I'm doing well against it. Ooh, that was close. I guess I should maybe just stick the missiles from now on. Just stick the missiles, just stick the missiles. Just stick the missiles. Yeah, missiles are, so it seems like the cold can hit it in its mouth when it's, like, invulnerable to, like, missiles, but that's going to take a bit longer to actually execute. I, mean, I do like how the... Nope! Ooh, that was close. I'm just... Just, just, just shoot, 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 in the stomach. This thing's getting close. Okay, um, maybe don't try to go, maybe go for the melee only as a last resort, but I mean, it is fun. I do like how they keep coming out of the walls in, like, creative different, uh, in, like, different places, different ways. It's not just, okay, boom, melee, uh, Metroid is waiting for you right like, there. Oh, hitting missiles also gets rid of the ice on it, or something? That's interesting. Again, you, I like how when fighting the metrics in different ways, they do different things, and it's, like, it is very much a learning experience fighting Metroid. Yeah, it, it does stop them. It definitely stops them. It stops them from charging their moves if you hit them. That's, again, great information to know because it helps fighting them. Pulse Blast... Yeah, it's, it's definitely something that works. And I like that. Because, again, there's so many different ways you can actually fight them. Oh, close. I feel like when I did that instant kill, it was... They were dropping those uh, energy blasts. And maybe, like, hitting that with a, in the missile, or, like, maybe... Stopping that move with a missile or like a, a charged ice blast kills them instantly or something? I don't know. Again, like, there's so many different ways of fighting Metroids. You can never really be sure of if something worked or not. If it was like what it was intended or you just discovered something new.
I like that. Got it. Get. Okay, no, that's not working. Okay, shooting in the mouth with missiles works, but shooting in, but it also gets rid of the ice on them, which makes it easier to deal with. So again, ways of beating Metroids are very numerous. Got it! There we go. I think that's enough to get me dead. Yes! Four down, one more captured, so that means five more to go. And I'm willing to bet that we have to use our barrage attack to get down there. Yes, I am right. Uh, beam burst right. No, I... Beam burst. No. Why being the jump, being the other fire button is very, very awkward. Alright. Uh... Uh, did not, uh, the buttons for this game are very awkward. It's it's a it's a bit of it's definitely a learning experience. But uh, right, I have to. I don't know why I'm like forgetting controls mid game. It's like what is with me? So this is definitely new area, and we cannot latch on that way. Uh, I. Feel actually down here's a teleporter, so yeah, we'll go we'll go down here first, so we can get this teleporter room established, and that way we can use just this is a fast travel point. So we don't have to go through everything again. Uh, but is there any? Well, no, there's, there's no hidden secrets in the walls because this is we've already been through here. But there's probably a Metroid right below us. But when are we gonna get super missiles for the first time? Because again, that's been something that we've seen a lot of, like, doors requiring, and we have yet to actually encounter super missiles. I feel like that's going to be something we're going to... I feel like that's what we're going to be getting soon, because we've also gone a while without, you know, something new like that being introduced. Uh, nope. I don't like how it doesn't automatically put on, uh, like, your, your beam burst for when you counter one of those guys, but I do like how it just goes through those guys. So, okay, there is definitely a Metroid down here, but there's also a secret. Ah, missiles, there we go. Ah, more missiles. Okay, missiles get missiles, nice. But when do we get super missiles? That's really what I'm after. Okay, so that doesn't do anything for me. Okay, so we can't do anything with you. Yeah, we can't do anything with you because you're you're a, you're a spider giggle. You're like a super spider giggle. F. No, those things are those are spider rag and roll. Is those were the last ones are spider boulders. These are spider giggle F's because these are the strongest forms. That makes sense. There we go. I am, I am flying Pokemon to Metroid. That is my only way of I can ever do things well is apply Pokemon to that, which actually makes sense because a lot of people said like just explain like Magic the Gathering to me in terms of like Pokemon cards or, like Yu-Gi-Oh. I always have been like that where I generally want something explained to me when it's unfamiliar in terms of like a game I know, and I always just end up relating most things back to Pokemon because it's something that I've just known for so long. But okay, so just Spider Ball up here. And just take it carefully. Oh. Just take it carefully. Take it slow. And we should be on our way out of this place soon. Go away. Nope. Jeez, like... I... I feel like these... They're being really jerks with the enemy placement now. I mean, I know that it is very much... You have to use the melee counters, but... Still, it's... It feels like they're being really jerkish with the placement of things now, which makes me think we're definitely getting into the harder areas. I mean, we, I know we're getting into the harder areas because we're getting later into the game, but I mean, I, I get really botching what I'm saying. Of course, we have a uh, Spider Gigalith. Can't bypass you yet. Let's go up here, and of course, I'm willing to bet that thing down there is a Gamma Metroid, or no, there's a Metroid up here. 
I do like how you can just av it's kind of like Kirby now that I think about it, where you can just avoid enemies if you you know just roll around ab above them or just roll around them. You don't need to actually fight them one on one. You can just avoid a lot of them. But this is probably a Metroid room, and I do I have to you know what? I'm feeling daring. Okay, it's one of you guys. I can I can take you guys. Proceeds just instantly get comboed. Hey, I can take one of you guys and then just get utterly comboed into oblivion. I need to learn just to shut up. But, just fire away. Uh, okay. <laughs> I find that I could tell like, I could tell the Gamma Metroid. No problem. Okay, okay. Not no problem. I still died to it a good number of times. But, like, I can take them on and I can do, like, well against them. And now I just utterly just get melted by this freaking Alpha Metroid. <laughs> get froze blasted. So, it actually doesn't prevent them from using their, uh, firebomb attack, which is interesting. I thought that it would... I guess it only disables, like, the Gamma Metroids from using their Electric Bursts. And I guess it disables them from using their Fire Counter, or their Fire, um, mail, their Fire Charge move. So, I guess Flame Charge, because everything we're going back to Pokemon and everything. So, yes, uh, we've beaten e e Electric, because that, that's what Metroid was. Uh, Tynamo is the base form Metroids. Wait. Don't tell me there's gonna be two of them in the same room. There we go. There's the door. Please don't tell me there's... Oh! Oh, this is a restock room. Okay, I will be back after restocking. Or maybe at the end of the video, because we've been going on for a while. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time we continue on. And I'll be restocked hopefully by then. Alright, fully restocked, fully reloaded. Let's rock and roll. And yep, there's definitely a Metroid over here in this heat room. Or oh oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay. Um I'm gonna go with my health back because I didn't realize that I I keep briefly forgetting that like Like I, I keep forgetting that I have the spider ball that I use can just roll around things and just get away from hazards. And I, I like the spider ball and all, it's, it's cool, but still, I, I forget about it, it exists sometimes. I do like how the the purple blasts, the purple um, health things, the big ones, they give you 25, and I think that the regular ones give you, I think, 10? But, come on. There we go. And so now we're back to full health, let's roll. Yeah, let's, let's roll. I didn't even intend for that. But now, we have that. Alright, I'm definitely thinking the gravity suit is something we're going to be getting soon, just because there's so much lava here, I'm willing to bet you need it for, you know, things. Okay, uh... I, I have the... Nope. I have my spring ball. I forgot about that. Uh, jump. Ball is the again like some things are just I keep forgetting we have certain powers and abilities because yep definitely a Metroid oh, oh no there's nothing there interesting but um okay there's definitely a Metroid in here. Pulse? Scan pulse, I mean? Oh, right, I have to go through here. And... Uh... Jump. That. Okay, uh, so I gotta go all the way the long way around. Because that's a drop-down block, and that... Uh... Ooh, I almost missed that. Nope! Okay. They are definitely being jerkish with the placement of things in here now. They definitely knew what they were doing. <laughs> well, if this is an infernal place to encounter a Metroid, I don't know what is. 
of Infernal Metroids. Come on, just get me out of here, just get me out of here. Okay, this is a... This is a very, very small confined area, and this does not give me much... I, I guess it gives me more to work with than I thought. But... Oh, so you have a fire electric. You have an electro fire beam now. So flamethrower and thunderbolts. So you are... So you're Rotom Heat. You are Rotom Heat. Missing fire and electricity is actually... Is there... I don't think there is any of the fire electric type yet in the Pokemon series. Which is a shame, that's a really cool, interesting type. I'm kind of surprised they haven't actually done more fire electric types, because it feels like them that would be kind of... I, I, I guess, like, not, like, natural, but... It feels like something they could do a lot more with than what they have done. And I'm sure they haven't done good things with Pokemon typing in the past, but there's definitely a lot of Pokemon types that you know, have, have yet to be really exploited to their full benefit. Like, look, we don't have a Dragon Bug type yet. And that's something that I know people have been really... Oh, that's an Eruption Burst. Like, Fire dra like Bug Dragon is something people have wanted for a long time, and they still haven't done it. But, I mean, this is... Again, everything talking about Pokemon lately with these episodes because, well, Pokemon's all I know, even though I'm trying to expand that. Come on. No, no, no. Come on, just go fly mode, fly mode. Here we go. Just fly mode so that we can just snipe you out of the air. Come on. Nope. Come on, come and get me. Come and get me. Nope, 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 nope. Not but on. I'm trying to There we go. Come on. Come and get come and get me. There we go. I'm slowly starting to get it better. And now rip your mouth open. And but are you You're still not gone after all that? Jeez, you are a tough bug. Come on and missiles away. Missiles away, come on! Take shoot in the mouth, shoot in the mouth, shoot in the mouth. No, nope. I'm this one feels a lot more difficult. I guess I wonder if that means that we're getting closer to like the next stage with uh some of them, because these definitely are feeling like they take a lot more because I feel like we've only done one cycle of the missile barrage into the mouth and then they're done. Well, not done, but, like, we have an easy time handling them. So, this definitely makes me think that there is... We're getting close to the next stages. But... Well, actually, is that all here? So, that's... Yeah, so we have everything here. I guess now we gotta, we gotta go back. Yeah, so, we've gotten everything in here. Um, that's a save point, so I guess our next stop is going to be right here, because we don't have access to that elevator yet. We need to get access to that elevator, and that, that unlocks a thing. We, we need to move something there, because then we got, we need to, no, no, wait. There's something we have to do here. Maybe it's like we have to move, maybe we have to break something there and then we can go, I think we have to, we have to get the elevator here, we break something, and then we can go to and from there at will. But I know we cannot go here, and I'm willing to bet this, either here, or here is where we get access to super missiles, because we haven't, I don't think we've been encountering a lot of super missile doors, but we've definitely been encountering more of them, because we have that one right there. And I know there's been some we encountered in previous areas, so yes, I think that that is where we have to go. Because there's no entry over here, unless there's also a thing down here we have to go to. Unless we have to go also here. Because, like, you see that path? That pathway goes... This pathway goes into here. And this thing down here. We can't enter through here, but I'm thinking we might have an entry into here from there. Or maybe we just... I'm just being stupid. But I'll meet you guys back when we got that yellow beacon.